Welcome to Talking Plant Protein. I'm Joey Thurman, and these are this week's trending topics. Now, if you have your own cow, you can get fresh milk on the spot. But now you don't need a cow or dairy, for that matter. And a move that could become a staple in your kitchen very soon, the exploding plant-based food market now has its own make-your-own plant-based milk device from company Milky Plant. Now, with the touch of a button, you can simply add your favorite plant-based ingredients, including nuts, seeds, and veggies, and in about three minutes, have your own delicious glass of plant-based milk. Now, the company already has over 3,200 pre-orders and raised well over 340,000 euro. This is a sure sign plant-based businesses are here to stay. If you want your own, you have to wait until the company starts shipping them on August 15th as their pre-order and pay the low, low price of $337. That's expensive milk. The best investment for the climate is meat and dairy alternatives, according to a new report from global management firm Boston Consulting Group, BCG. The new report points out that the consumer demand and willingness to try plant-based food options and helping them mitigate the climate crisis. Now, if one person eats beef one to two times a week for one year, this equals 604 kilograms of emissions in their carbon footprint. On the other hand, eating beans one to two times a week contributes just seven kilograms. That's 597 kilogram difference. That's easy math there. Let's see if this new report has people and companies not only thinking green, but eating more green as well. The military is up in arms. For years now, those in the armed forces have been asking for more plant-based meal options. Well, the U.S. Department of Defense and Congress is listening. The move comes after a nonprofit, Mercy for Animals, MFA, published research that shows large support for vegan, ready-to-eat meals for our military. An amendment to the 2013 National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, requires Congress to lay bare its proposed plans to accommodate plant-based eaters. A report will be completed by September 30th of 2023. Now, leading the amendment effort is California Congressman Ro Khanna, who has previously joined forces with Senator Cory Booker and Senator Elizabeth Warren to bring awareness to the negative impacts of large factory farms and end the practice by 2040. And those were this week's headlines for Talking Plant Protein. I'm Joey Thurman, and we will see you soon.